I go to a cardiologist. Why? I can't breathe. Really? I can't breathe, man. Like getting lightheaded, can't breathe, or like, like, like tightness in the chest, or like what? just can't catch my breath, can't take a deep breath. It's been going on for like six months. Really? Yeah, dude. So Tuesday, I went to a I went to a primary, and they did a uh, C, CT. They did a EKG. EKG. Yeah. And it was, That's an echocardiogram. No, they didn't do an echocardiogram. They did a. That's uh, what an EKG is. What did they do? They did something, and they said it was irregular. And I'm like, What's that mean? I don't know. So I went. I was like, Well, that sucks. But I can't. I can't freaking breathe. So I'm like, Oh, well, okay. That explains it. Yes. Like, like can't breathe. Like I if you're jogging or like no, when you I'm just, exor- you're always out of breath. When I'm exercising, I'm good, man. When I sit on the couch, I'm like, I can't breathe. I just can't catch my breath. So here, so check this out. This is why I bring this up. So, so I go to the doctor and they're like, this is irregular. Go get a chest x-ray and give us all your blood or half of it. So, so the next day I go, I got needles in both arms. They're sucking all the blood out of me. They do a chest x-ray. Um, today I go see a cardiologist. All right, here's your problem. You got no blood. I got no blood. He's like, oh, you're empty. <laughs> um but he's like, you know, chest x-ray is good. You're all clear. Um, asked me if I was a smoker. I'm like, I haven't smoked in 23 years. Mm-hmm. Um, that's, a, that's a very precise number of years. You remember the minute you quit smoking? I do. Yeah. I remember. the. I remember because yeah. I don't want to get – I'll tell anyway, you how yeah. <laughs> But I quit. <laughs> um, uh, where was I going with that? So, and he's like, he's like uh, you know, your, your lungs are clear. Um, you know, I got to go do a stress test and I got to do a uh, – I have to get an echocardiogram where they're going to take, or no, they're going to do a, like a sonogram of my heart huh. to see if the valves are leaking. Okay. See if there's a problem yeah. with that. Like blockage, high cholesterol, whatever. Um, but I don't have high blood pressure. That's what I was going to ask you. No. Do you, or is your blood pressure high? No. Cause normally, well, normally if you don't have, no, maybe that's different. What about like white and red blood cell count? I don't know, man. Well, he said, how do you, what's your diet like? I'm like, dude, I eat tons of salad. Uh, you know, I have a decent diet. It's not mm-hmm. great. I have a decent yeah. diet. Um, my, I don't have high blood pressure. And he, he, what about he, like allergies? No, what about something no really simple? Nope. Well, the guy goes like this. He goes, uh, and I know the listeners can't see me, but he goes like this. He goes, he goes, you ever do this? And I said, oh, yeah. Breathing? Like breathing heavy and like with your just like slumped over like hmm. breathing heavy. And I was like, yeah. And he goes, yeah, that's stress. He goes, this may all be stress. He's like, what do you do for a living? <laughs> and I was like... You're like, I stress for a living. I'm like, bro, I get paid to be stressed, stressed out. I will say that before my vacation especially, I, dude, I was stressed out to the point where our boss, was he sent me an email. And when I read it, I didn't think anything of it. And then later I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I had just... I had kind of... a. a I don't want to say a bad attitude, but we were in a meeting and somebody was telling me something uh-huh. I didn't want to hear. And he was, he outranks me by a long shot. And I was like, well, then what you're deciding is going to make me fail. Wow. So wow. if you want me to fail, that's a good plan or something <laughs> along those lines. And I didn't mean it like that. I looking back on it. I was like, that didn't sound good. But later I got an email from the boss. He was like, Hey man, I noticed you got a lot of vacations saved up. Have you considered taking some vacation? Wow. <laughs> and I was like, I'm off next week. I told you about it. He's like, Oh great. That sounds like it's going to be awesome. Oh for my you. God. And so then afterwards I'm like, <laughs> did he just tell me I need to take some time off did here? Did he just tell me to chill out? <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, it's important. Yeah. You know, I, we, we were totally it up. The communities that I'm running right now, I mean, we're doing, we're doing, Tens of millions of dollars yeah, worth dude. of construction every year. Like the, the I, can't, I don't even want to total it up because I thought about like, hey, let's total up to see how many, exa- how many dollars worth of products we sold. And then I thought, no, I don't want to do that. I don't even. I don't attack. even. Yeah, I don't even need yeah. to try and think about that number while I'm sleeping at night. Well, here's the thing, man. We've talked about stress before, but uh, I I totally went off on a dude today. You know why? <laughs> Oh my God. He didn't move his car fast enough. I walked by him and I was like, "Hey, man!" He was blocking a park. I mean, he was parked in. A, he was parked like shit. At. But anyway, <laughs> but it wasn't that big a deal. Uh, so I walked up to him and I was like, "Hey, 
And there's two dudes standing there. And I said, Hey, uh, numb nuts. You going to move that car? I was like, Hey, I think you guys own that truck. And the one guy says, uh, he, The one guy looks at the other guy. And that guy looks at me and he goes, Yeah. And I was like, Yeah. And the, the one guy is, is a, you know, he's working on one of my jobs. And I was like, eh, Let me ask a question. I was like, Who works for who? You work for you? Who, who's the boss here? And they're like, <laughs> And they're like, and the one guy goes, oh, the guy who owns the truck, he goes, well, I'm the boss. And I was like, wrong. I'm the boss. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Everybody on this job works for me. <laughs> and I was like, now go move your truck. Yeah. And he goes, yeah. So I'm... what are you doing here? He's like, I'm delivering a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, uh, he goes uh, I, said, I said, you need to move your truck. And he goes, yeah, I'll do it. And I started walking away, and I noticed he didn't move. And I turned back around. That's when I snapped, man. I was like, you're on my time. Oh, my God. Not your time. I've definitely done that. Oh, Sometimes dude. people are being ignorant on purpose. Do you know something that pissed me off on the job <laughs> site the other day? I was driving through, uh-huh. and I was like, you know, I'm, I'm always in a little bit of a hurry. I'm always slightly behind t- on time. Like, that's the way it works yeah, when yeah. you're in this biz. Yeah. So I was coming through, and they were <laughs> paving. And I was like making my way past their operation. They were paving one side of the road. And he gave me the hands, two two hands slow down. <laughs> and I was like, how dare, I almost stopped. How dare you, how son of a bitch. This is my you. job site. And I thought, yeah. wait, he just doesn't want me to kill anybody. He just doesn't want you to kill anybody, man. <laughs> yeah, relax. No, no, no. I was, yeah, I probably should have slowed down. So I did. Yeah. I slowed down and then, I, and then I cooled down for a couple more minutes. Oh, I didn't cool down. No. I was like, I turned around, I went off on the guy, and he was like, okay, I'll do it right now. I think and your I was doctor like, is right. on to something. I think yeah. your doctor might be on to something. You know, I you've had, too, you've had some cha- some changes in your job here over mm-hmm. the last six months, and yeah. it's yeah. been very different. That's what, one of the reasons why it's hard. You're probably stressed that it's so hard for us to get together for this podcast. It really is. You're the cause of my stress, man. I am. <laughs> I am. I'm like, come I on. Didn't, I didn't move. I didn't oh, leave right. the state. Oh, you're right. Yeah. You're right. I did that. <sighs> I'm the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I do live an hour from my job site the other direction. It doesn't yeah. help anything. No, but. that doesn't help. But, you know, it's, it's, it's funny, though. As soon as he said it, it hit me like a ton of bricks. I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm stressed. And, I, I you know, I, I was thinking about it, and I was like, Jesus. Construction management is so deadline driven it really is that and you know as the manager when you're in charge of that you're in charge of all those moving pieces man that's super stressful because the second one of those dominoes doesn't fall like it's supposed to now now you're like you know you're scrambling to kind of realign everything and get everything back on track so you hit that deadline right because i don't know about you man but deadlines never nobody ever says you know what we're going to give you more time whether you're sick or you're tired or you're late yeah didn't work out if you have vacation it doesn't matter it doesn't go away we had a couple conversations like that here recently that like look even if you're banged up or you're sick or you have something to do, this job is still happening while you're yeah. not there. So yeah. you have – like while you're – if you're sick, if you're hurt, the next day when you're recovering or you're going to the dock or you're doing anything, that job is still happening. And you still have an obligation to take care of it. And that can be really stressful. Yeah. Um, but let me ask you a question though. When was the last time you had a vacation? Oh, man, it's been a while. All right, so it's been a while. I for sure. was, I gotta be honest, man. I, I, I slept weird hours because I pretty much hunted all weekend, it's deer hunting. So I'm up before the sun and then go out until the sun comes down. Um, I, I did a whole day sit on Tuesday, so I didn't, I didn't get out. It was eleven hours. I told my I told my brothers Wait, about when you this. sat in the woods for eleven hours. I sat in a ground blind for eleven hours with my bow. Jesus, and it was freezing, freaking cold, and it was raining. But I was in a blind, so it was good. And I told a couple of people about this, including my brothers, who are both hunters, and they're like, "That sounds friggin' terrible." Really? You sit there all day, just by yourself, like my God, it sounds like I, amazing. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I said. <laughs> I said, "Dude, I want you to picture this for a second. I had a chair. Yeah." My bow is propped up on the side. I had my iPad because I actually had a couple of work things that even though I was on vacation, I still had to do. Yeah. So I knocked out some work for an hour. I answered a few emails. I saw a whole bunch of deer. I, I was hunting a bow, but I saw a really big buck at not bow distance. And ah. now I'm buying muzzleloader. That's a separate <laughs> topic. Um, but like, um, <laughs> but 
no joke. My brother's like, you're crazy. I go, I want to do that. I don't think about all the things I could be doing. I was like, I want you to wrap your mind around this. It was real slow in the middle of the day. So I took a two hour nap. Good for you. Dude. And he was like, oh my God, I need that. Yeah. <laughs> he's got four kids and he's working oh. around the clock. And he's going to school at night, trying to get his master's and like, oh my God. <laughs> it's like, I'm like, dude, it was the best. It was like, it was basically like a wintertime beach vacation for me. That's awesome. Right? A wintertime beach vacation. That's a wintertime awesome. beach vacation. Dude, I will fall time. Fall time. I, I used to hate the beach. Hated it. Just because it's boring? I just sit there, the hot water's disgusting, the sand all over the place. But the last time I was on vacation, we went to the beach and I freaking loved it. I You're didn't like, want to leave. Yeah, just I just want to sit here. I, that's all I was doing. I, you I was know what? Reading I, a book. I used to get sick of the beach because it's just too much sun. I'm bald. Uh, it's just like I'm pale. <laughs> you know, I'm always sunburned by day two. Yeah. And I'm like, but I have mastered the, I'm just sitting under an umbrella in the shade. All day. Good for you, man. And I drink coffee in the morning. I fish in the morning. I love it. It's the same thing. It's it's yeah. it's my summertime deer hunting vacation. So, dude, my wife was like, <laughs> I can't believe you're enjoying yourself. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I don't want to leave. I love. I had a cooler full of beer. Right. It was fantastic. You know, what I did a couple of years ago. Actually, more than a couple of years ago. I hated the beach so much, but I went. And Gina was like, "What are you gonna do?" And I was like, "Build a fort." <laughs> I like scavenged around. We were down in Florida, and I found all these like big. Proms or whatever you call them. And I literally like survivor manned myself a hut and was like, I'm sitting under this hut. It's and awesome. G- Gina's like, are you kidding me? Yeah. My, my brothers and I did a backpacking. Back- we, we were, it was when survivor man first came out. Yeah, you remember that? Show. It was a great it. show. Great yep. show. Um, so we were going to do survivor man weekend. And the oh idea was that we were going to just off the cuff, drive to the woods and get out. <laughs> And just walk into the woods with whatever's in your pockets for like two days. <laughs> just just because, let's figure out how to make fire. Let's start it. And let's do this. Let's do that. Did you have and a tent a, and a camp stove? Well, the, it, it quickly adapted <laughs> into carrying 100 pounds of shit for each person in yeah. the woods. And yeah. we did do two days. And it was like, you know, when you're backpacking, like you got a lot to see. But when yeah. you're not moving... You're just kind of sitting around, and it's like, what are we going to do? And you're making a bunch of deadfall traps and, like, whittling stuff and, like, yeah, trying man, to figure out how to, yeah, climbing trees. And, like, we were like kids again, yeah. except for it was a couple of days. And, dude, i got to be honest. That's probably what you need. Dude, I love you. You probably just need a break where you don't think about it for a couple of days. Yeah, it's hard, man. It's hard to let loose. You know, for, to, to stop thinking about it. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I always say you do two weeks worth of work and the week prior so that you can take a week off. Yeah. And then when you get back, somehow there's two weeks worth of work to do. I don't understand <laughs> it that. makes no sense. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like two weeks ago, my son, my uh, 14-year-old was like, I don't know what we were doing. And he was like, hey, uh, the subject came up backpacking. Because he's, you know, he's gone with me a couple of times. And he was like, we should go backpacking. And I was like, this is on a Friday night. And I said, let's go tomorrow. And he's like. Let's do it. I was like, all right, fantastic. We're going tomorrow. And my wife's like, you're really going to go? I'm like, yeah, we're going. It was like, it was cold. Yeah. The next day, he's like, I said, hey, buddy. Uh, you ready to backpack? You want to go backpacking? And he's like, eh. Let's, <laughs> let's put that off. Let's put that off for a couple weeks. Let's put weeks. that off for like forever. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh. All right. Because, I mean, I want to go in. Dude, I love backpacking. Love it. Dude, yeah. It's, you know, it's like getting in the woods. Yeah, dude. Just getting out there. Well, you know, it, like you said, you can't you can't ever get away from it. It's you know, stuff being built on your watch while you're off. But it does do yourself a huge favor to take some time <laughs> off. Man, I feel fantastic. I had a, like I said when I when we started the last podcast, I had a lot to do this week. I had three hundred plus unread emails. Oh my and, god! And I was maintaining it while I was off, like I said. And I had you know tons of stuff to go over and people that needed stuff from me and all the stuff. And then I get just ten seconds into it, and it was like, surprise, your week is ruined. Like you have a, a whole other set of things that you're going to have to do now oh, that you yeah. didn't know about. Yeah. And not that it's ruined. I mean, I don't mind anybody coming by to look at what I'm doing, especially since I got some kudos and it felt good. But yeah, yeah. The point is like. You're always going to have that. You're yeah. always going to have to struggle through it. If you don't ever give yourself a break, you most certainly will burn out. Oh my I God. will. 100%. I know I will. And, be, and when I start getting, you know, smug or, you know, cynical, <laughs> st- then then I know, like, I definitely need a break. Dude, you can see it. If you, if you interact with uh, construction managers on a regular basis, mm-hmm. 
and not even just construction managers, but I mean, I kind of consider a trade partner foreman, they're construction managers as well. Sure. Man, you can see the ones that are just super stressed uh -huh. beyond belief. You know, they're, they have the shortest fuse because they're, they're constantly worried about the next, you know, thing that's going to happen. Man, sometimes, and dude, I'm super guilty of it. Super guilty yeah. of it. And, you know, sometimes, I, you know, when, when the cardiologist was like, started talking about stress, I was like, uh oh, you know what? I need a <laughs> vacation. I, I thought about it. I was like, man, I really need to, um, you know, because I like to say that I get exercise. So is it, what, right. there's a bunch of things that, for me, help with stress, right? Exercise is one of them. Um, you know, I like to drink. <laughs> <laughs> um, and vacation, you know, taking time off, right. you know, spending time with my family is, is a big one. Another thing, too, and I know that you've got this podcast and you've got Builder Tactics and you're thinking about those things, mm. but those are all your job related. Yeah. Have you considered yeah. maybe, because you've talked about it, have you considered maybe just picking up like something that has nothing to do with this and doing that for a couple hours a week? Dude, so I used to do, I used to be heavy into martial arts. Oh, you told me that before, yeah. So about doing a month ago, anymore? one of my kids came home, my older boy came home and he was like, hey dad, can we do some stick fighting? And I was like, you betcha. And nice. we've actually been doing that uh, pretty regularly. Huh. Um which is awesome. You know, banging sticks. You know, sure. it's, uh, you know, I love it. I love martial arts, man. It's awesome. I was actually thinking about doing some jujitsu again or something. I don't know. Man, I, I don't know. I know. It's about time, dude. And you're busted and old, too, so everything I'm hurts. Busted and old, man. Yeah, so it's hard, dude. <laughs> so my kid is 15 and a half. And yeah. I, I don't know if we've talked about it on this podcast. <laughs> busted and old. I know. I feel busted and old, too. He, call, he tells me every, all the time. But what we've been doing, and we've been doing it for about a month now. I asked him, I'm like, you want to work out? And he's like, I don't have time. I, I don't have time to work. I work out with my friends. Yeah. And, I, and, you yeah. Know, and, and he does. He does work out. That's good. On a regular basis. But I said, look, set your alarm a half an hour earlier than you normally do. Mm -hmm. Come down. Let's get one circuit, you know, three or four sets. And that you can knock that out in 20 minutes if yeah. we get it with a, who get after it. And dude, he's been doing. He's making real progress. I'm, awesome. I'm, obviously, I'm I'm maintenance guy, dude. I'm just turned thirty nine. I'm busting an old, <laughs> uh, but it's, <laughs> but you know, I'm, I'm he he can crush me in all the body weight stuff. Yeah. But he is so game, and it is showing too. You can Doesn't see. That piss you off? I'm well, like, when you're you fifteen doing? and you lift weights for a month, it's like you make a drastic change to your body. It's like Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> all of a sudden. I know it kind of makes me sick a little bit. It makes me mad. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he's happy with it though. But you know, so there's this thing. So you know, diet, exercise, uh -huh. you know, having a hobby not related to what you do every uh -huh. day. I mean, those are huge stress relievers, man. Right. You know, just. Spending time with your family, your wife, mm -hmm. your kids, your girlfriends, your brother, your sister, whatever. Right. Your people you love. Um, that's a huge stress relief. I'm really, you know, we got the holidays coming up, man. I'm really looking forward to yeah. um, just hanging out with family. Right. You know what I mean? Well, that's what we do. M my family is heavy into construction. There's at least three of us, three, four, three of us that are full-time construction heads. And uh, like I said, <laughs> my brother's a a patent lawyer and he's going to school too. And wow. my other brother's a nurse and he's, he's working straight through the holidays. He got kind of screwed, but and my, my sister is a stylist. She's working. She's got crazy hours. She's got yeah. appointments and all this stuff. And, and when we go to for Thanksgiving and for Christmas, we go to the house, we go to my parents' house. We all stay under one roof for like four straight days. Awesome. And we just cook and eat and hang out and drink. And yeah, dude. I said, I, I, what I'm looking forward to is playing with babies, all the babies that I haven't got a chance to play with here uh, lately, yeah. and sleeping under the coffee table in the family room. <laughs> That's one of my things, too. I love Get it. Get a couple bourbons in me, and yeah. then I'm like, you know, I'm just going to sleep right here until anybody kicks me. You know what? I'm comfortable. <laughs> I'm just going to sleep right it's here. It's a really nice rug in there. No, it's awesome, man. You know, and it's, it's, uh, you know, I, it's funny because a lot of people are like, oh, the holidays, they're so stressful. But, man, I find that the holidays uh, are just relax me. Right. You know? But, again, it's it's spending time with people you love. Right. So, you know, it's awesome. It's so important, man. So anybody that's out there, you know, take the time to find something not related to work that you enjoy you know, exercise, eat well. Maybe don't go to McDonald's twice a day. Like, we... Jason and I have a, a, a mutual coworker that goes to Roy Rogers every single morning. They know him by name, and he gets the same thing. 
And I gotta imagine he's a heart attack waiting to happen. Nah, dude, he's epitome of health. I don't know. Um, I mean, but that's Is cool. That the I mean, right word epitome. What does that mean? I don't know. Man. Look it up. Um, but it's really, it's really critically important that that you find a way to relieve stress, so you're not sitting in the doctor's office like I was today. You know, trying to breathe. <laughs> exactly complaining that it hurts to breathe As somebody told me the other day they're like dude you know wait a minute hold on i'm gonna stop you epitome is a person or thing that is a perfect example of a particular quality or type making me right continue were you right yeah that's the way i, I remember it I <laughs> <laughs> okay good enough <laughs> i believe you i can't remember 10 seconds ago so yeah i'm good with it <laughs> What are you saying? So, so we, you know, we didn't we didn't start talking today to to talk about uh, stress management, but it's super important, and it's really and we've talked about it before, but it, it really is a critical. It's more like skill. life maintenance, right? It's like life. It's maintenance. like life maintenance. Yeah, you can't just. I mean, look. Let me tell you something. I'm doing a pretty good job at work. I think my things are moving. You know, made it through my vacation back. I'm kind of caught up now, um, but my garage. Is a friggin' wreck, and my basement still needs finished, and that deck <laughs> doesn't exist on the back of my house. And it's like it's, it's, there's still plenty of stuff to do. And if you think about all of it at the same time, you you're have a deck on the mind. back of your house. Negative. I don't. I thought for sure that's something. That's like the first thing you would have oh, done. No, Damien. I've been so broke for the last ten years oh, that I dude. have been managing my money to stay alive. I'm with that? you, dude. God, <laughs> dude, my car. <laughs> so. This is kind of off subject, but uh, my car is now going. When I turn it on, it goes bang, 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 bang. Just, just when you start it? And then when I start to drive, it calms down. I and love I, the vocal impression of what sound your car is making. Dude, I used to be horrible. a mechanic. I missed that, actually. Dude, it's horrible. Bang, bang, I, I, bang, 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 bang. Seven before, bangs? Before we leave. <laughs> dude, sometimes it's 37 bangs. <laughs> um, I'll start it before we leave hmm. so you can hear it. It's, okay. It's, I'll, I'll, before you start it, I'll check to see if there's any oil in it. There is. I checked it. Hmm. I know how to check the oil. It was like, <laughs> oil, check, good. Guess it's we'll just trash it. now. <laughs> you should build a fence out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I should chase that goddamn ground dog around in my car. It's car trash up. anyway. Um, but I was afraid of I, I didn't even think I'd get here today. Really? Yeah, it's bad. I got to take it to the, I'm, I'm not going to drive it tomorrow. I'm going to take it to a mechanic or something. I think I might already know what it is. Yeah. All right. Go well, take a look. Fuck, I hope you, excuse me. I hope you fix it because uh, I'm like, well, this car is trash. <laughs> That's it for you. Oh, man. Just take the tags off of it. Leave it in the parking lot here at the library. I'm tempted, man. I'll drop you off at the house. Wait, we're talking about stress, man. My son ran into the garage. No way. Big dent in the front, and he's like, whoo, it's hey, so broken. Did he call the builder and demand that they replace his garage door? Because that's the hot thing nowadays. <laughs> hey, I smashed into my garage door. What do you mean you won't replace it? He's like, this house is in the wrong place. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, that is the big thing, unfortunately. That just leads to more stress. Right. Bro, more stress. How do we end up talking about stress again? Oh, you're because I can't right. breathe, man. Because can't breathe, that's right. I can't breathe. Mm. I need to make it through these podcasts, but I just I can't breathe. So we got a lot going on. So let's talk about the podcast. Let's talk about all the all the extra sh- stuff that I'm doing. <laughs> so we've got the trade series coming up, um, which is an ad- like an it's like an additional group of podcasts, not the construction management podcast, um, but it's similar. It's for specifically for trade partners that are entrepreneurs um, and just tips and tricks to help our trade partners run their to be more successful with their businesses. Um, Because ultimately, as a construction manager, you want your trades to be successful because if they're successful, they're gonna come back, they're gonna be your partners, they're gonna work with you year after year. You know, but what you don't want is a bunch of uh, trade partners running around that are just barely getting by, that aren't running their jobs well. Um, You want them to be as successful as possible. So there will be a a series of podcasts called Trade Tactics, um, short series, and that will, that's specifically for trade partners, uh, young entrepreneurs, so not young, any kind of, it could be old busted entrepreneurs also. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guarantee you all of them will have somebody who's old and busted working. Guaranteed. It. <laughs> um, so then there will be, um, you know, the online training I think is going to launch sometime around uh, January, February of 2020. Nice. 
Yeah, so that'll be cool. Um, and then I'm going to take a vacation. That sounds like a great <laughs> plan. It sounds like a great plan for the podcast, in fact. Because without you, I mean, this might add to your stress, but this podcast wouldn't exist because, Jason. I mean, if, if it's Jason Shipe solo. Hey, this is fun. <laughs> There. Ethan's gone. Yeah, Ethan's gone. <laughs> He's finally like, where's my dinner? I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat. I love recording this podcast. <laughs> I do Because eventually everyone's going to get to listen to all of our suckiness. I know. <laughs> Actually, people are going to be like, these guys suck and stop listening. Uh, no, that's not the case. <laughs> I think everybody enjoys all the blunders. Yeah. So just to, to wrap it up, take care of yourself. Take care of your mental health. Please, your physical health, your mental health, it's all related. Um, Plan and take a vacation. Take your vacation. I know a ton of dudes that have like thousand vacation hours because they never yeah, take any You know what is off. stressful for me before we go? Going on vacation. Now, beach vacation when you're with your family and you just sit around on the beach and you don't do anything, that's, that's super easy to wrap your mind around. People going to Disney. I mean, I, one of my guys just got back from Disney with his kids and his wife, and he's dude, like, "That's hard work." He's like, "Dude, it is like a freaking job for the week." He's like, "You yeah. got an itinerary, you got kids, everyone is like wiping their nose and needs to go to the bathroom." And it's like, yeah. you get back, you feel like you need a break again. And I'm talking about somebody. If you're in this business and you you've got weeks of vacation every year, or you don't, or it doesn't matter. Plan for it. Take a staycation. Take yeah, a dude. take a a weekend staycation, a four day week vacation, yeah, where man. you just do something relaxing, fun. It is therapeutic, man. It helped me for sure. I'm telling you, man. I I, I think you're onto something there. Mm-hmm. You know, as I know, I, I the thought of just lounging around with my wife is amazing. Yeah, even though I didn't kill a buck. I mean, my vacation was titled Rut Life. Dear vacation on the calendar. <laughs> <laughs> the people that got it didn't understand it, but whatever. Dude, when we went um, squirrel hunting, even though we didn't see a single squirrel <laughs> in the million acre woods awesome. we were in, yeah. dude, it was fantastic. I didn't realize how hungover I was until a couple hours later. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we didn't see a squirrel. <laughs> I know. We anyway. might have saw 12, just not noticed. The them. squirrels were like, oh, those two idiots. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Anyway. So take care of yourself. Stress, stress management and, and stress in general is, is for real thing. Okay. It can lead to all kinds of health problems. Um, you know, take the time, recognize when you're stressed, find something to do to help you deal with it, manage that stress, spend time with loved ones, eat right. Um, you'll find, you know, if you take the time to manage your stress levels and your happiness, you'll find that you're, you're better at your job because you'll be you'll have a much better attitude It'll be easy. It will be easier to cope with issues that come up. Um, it's super important. It's don't so don't ignore your mental health, and remember your physical health is health is tied to it. Uh, and I'll just leave it at that. In the meantime, go check out Builder Tactics. Manuals on there. There's actually a small section on stress management in there. Um, check out the swag we got on there. You can design your own shirt, sweatshirt, whatever. Um, I, I think one more thing I'd, I'd like to say is I think that we should do like we all of this stuff is focused on just work. And yeah. I think we should do a series of podcasts on like the opposite of that. How construction guys, construction unwind. people unwind. Yeah, and, dude, like, I'm what down with you that. do and what's your hobby. I, I, I mean, like I knew that out of all my guys, one of them loves equipment. He owns so much equipment. He never does anything with it. He just fixes up a dump truck and then he hooks it to a trailer that he bought and he puts up a loader that he bought. And, <laughs> and I'm not sure he's actually doing anything with it, but it's his thing. And then That's another awesome. guy is a sailor and he owns a sailboat and he goes cool. and he sails. A couple of fishermen, a couple of hunters. A couple yeah, of, a lot of hunters. One guy, I know he's got like nine hobbies that I've known him for 15 years. At nine hobbies, he's got a saltwater tank. He collects gold. He, you know, helps his kid remodel. He's got like all these things that he does on a regular basis. It's, all right, guys, that, it's a great one. If you got a cool hobby, let yeah. us know. Go to send us an email at uh, info at buildertactics.com and, uh, and we'll feature you. So send, send us something cool you're doing. Love it. To, yeah, I would love to get into that. That'd be oh, that's a great idea. Love to see how you guys are unwinding. Let us know. We'll put you on the uh, we'll put you on Instagram. It's really cool, Jason. I come, Jason and I will come do it with you. Yeah, as long, that, as, as, long as you're buying. <laughs> <laughs> 
especially if you like fishing and drinking beer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yeah.